Well, this is the video that nobody's asking for, but we're giving it to you anyway. How to turn your water jet into a lathe. Now, we have seen devices type things that you can attach to the edge of the tank that is kind of like a lathe head so that you can water jet cylindrical objects, which might have a purpose somewhere. So we're going to attempt to make a redneck version of that. That sounds good. What follows is a brief construction montage. We hope you enjoyed this brief construction montage. That is how you make a water jet lathe. We've got a Harbor Freight special drill here powering it, locked on a low speed. We've got ball bearings on both sides. We've got the water jet in position. Now all we gotta do is start trimming it down. Will this work or did we just waste a whole lot of time? I'm worried that the water jet's gonna try to spin it at like warp speed in the opposite direction and the drill's just gonna like bog up and like nothing will happen. Yeah, it could just, well, I don't know. There's we only one way it, to find out. We can spin it faster in this direction if the water jet to counteract the water jet's force. If the water jet starts to slow it down too much. We've got a decent amount of speed on that right now. Oh, but it is pretty easy to slow down. <laughs> So that is a little bit too slow for us. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and lock this in place and we're just gonna run it and cut the corners off of this. See if that helps speed up the process. Halfway through that, we got an even better idea. So we have programmed the profile half of the profile of a bat like you would on a lathe, we're going to cut that profile on all four corners, rotate it quarter of the way, cut it again, and then that'll remove most of it. Then we can hook the drill back up and do the rest of the thing. I'll finish it off, get a nice smooth final pass. Triple, did not, did not break. And it's just out of cedar. Okay, yeah, that is stronger than I thought it was gonna be. We've got a proof of concept. Next step is we've got some ash ready to go. This is considerably heavier, denser than that. Yeah, that is. This is actual hardwood. Cedar. Cedar is not. Now we're gonna just run it on this. We're probably gonna do like a 30, 45 minute pass of just the whole file 
and I think we'll come out with a bat. I think you might want to do an hour. Hour? <laughs> That was a case of like the death wobbles, was it? What was making that noise? The speed we had it set at would have taken two hours to do this entire thing. And that sound did not sound good. Try slowing it down and see, uh... Just for that section. Okay. We can avoid that wobble. doing just getting ready for that next segment in a recent study it was found that one in three people had poop on their hands and those people shop at the same stores as us they open the same doors as us and no matter how careful you are at some point you're going to touch your face if there's anything we've learned in the last few months it's that bacteria and viruses spread quickly. That's why we've made the Copper Finger. The Copper Finger allows you to open doors, push buttons, and even secure contracts worth a bajillion dollars, all with minimal contact. Plus, copper is an uninhabitable surface for disease-causing viruses and bacteria. Viruses can live for up to three days on hard surfaces like steel and plastic, but copper kills over 95% quicker. Don't pass around around the nasty. Give germs the finger with the copper finger. To get yours today, click the link in the description. Buy one, get one free. The only place to get it is by clicking the link in the description. are so close still got a little bit of a ridge right there and there was no oh, right there looking bad we got to consult the expert little league coach here see what he thinks about it this uh this approved wow is that a regulation yeah i have it does it feel like too heavy no that's right that's, yeah shows how much i know about baseball that's right how much would you pay for this bat? Well, it doesn't say Louisville Slugger or Easton or anything like that. So. It's a one of a kind. Oh, it's a one of a kind? Did I get your autograph on it? Lick tested. Oh, lick tested, lick it. I just lick. licked it. It's a bat. <laughs> this is the only one of its kind. I just verified. I don't know, 50 bucks? <laughs> what if I told you that it cost us like $300 to produce this? <laughs> Did it really? <laughs> Swing! Bada, 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 bada. If we go by billable hours, this bat cost us like $300 to make. That was like two hours of machine run time. Maybe more. <laughs> Maybe more. Plus R&D time. Plus R&D, plus the bat blank was like 30 bucks. 
So we're we're well over 300 bucks. But I think we could do it in a fraction of the time now. So it'd still be like 100 bucks though. 200 maybe. 200. Mitchell's got a lot of kids he's got to feed, so. Uh, it is true. This is true.